welcome to helicopter training videos. In this video we're going to look at the different ways that the main rotors can be configured on a helicopter. We'll go through the, uh, the various different uh, configurations with some examples of each. So first of all we have the traditional or conventional which is a main rotor system with a tail to counteract the torque and that would be R22, R44, Schweitzer 300 etc. Then we have something called the tandem uh, an example of that, that most people might know is the CH47 Chinook. Then we have something called a transverse configuration, and that's with the two rotors side by side, um, like the V22 Osprey. Obviously, the Osprey is a little bit more unique than just that. It also has tilt rotors, but in terms of the position of the rotor configuration, it's transverse. Then we have something called coaxial, which is one rotor above the other. And in all these cases, the rotors are turning in opposite directions, so they're countering each other's uh, torque. And the coaxial example here is a Kamov uh, KA-50 Hokum, a Russian helicopter. Then we have something called intermeshing. Uh, an example here is a Cayman K-Max. This is a helicopter that flew into Bend recently. And then we have something called quad, which is four counter-rotating main rotor systems. Uh, they're used in things like uh, um, ultralight UAVs and things like that, but uh, way back in the 1920s, it was an example here of a quad helicopter. For more information, check out the Robinson R22 or the R44 POH, Pilot Operating Handbook. The FAA also produces the Helicopter Flying Handbook, which you can download from their website. ASA produce a helicopter oral exam guide and a private test prep, both of which will cover uh, systems questions to help you prepare for your private check ride uh, or your written test. And uh, there's also the Robinson R22 or R44 maintenance manual you can download from Robinson. Any thoughts, any questions, any feedback, we appreciate all those. Please send them on.